sorry about the echo or the lack of quality. I'm a little rusty at this, and uh, I, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm a bit of a mess, but I am going to do my best to show you the process of me installing my first solar kit system. This one being from EcoWorthy. And this is the solar panel that I will now be crawling through this window and nailing that onto my roof so that I can gather some sunlight to go into a battery. So, I will see you once I've already put the solar panel on the, uh, the roof with a screwdriver and some nails. Maybe some zip ties, who knows? All right, now since I got that solar panel on the roof, I'm gonna get the cord from the solar panel, put it into a controller, it's gonna to connect to this, it's gonna to go to an outlet. So this is the controller it came with. So, now it's connected, it's showing information. Uh, these right here will go into like a backup battery. Like I said, this will go in the other spot, which will, you can, Use for an outlet, you can use it for a light switch, uh, anything electrical. You can bring the light, you know. But, uh, how I'm going to get to the basement, because that's where I'm going from the attic, the roof, all the way to the basement. So, to do that, I've already taken liberty to use my drill to drill a hole. Right here, which I'll end up showing you pictures, better quality pictures. Uh, it's right above our bedroom. I'm gonna run that behind the bed, drill a hole there, and bring that to the basement. I'm gonna use a staple gun to make it look form, have it form. So, um, so now I'm just running this through there. All right, as you can see, I nailed it to the wall next to where the uh, cable's going. But now, I need to unsee this to look something like this and go in here. So, I mean, we're gonna do that to get that up. But we're gonna get this, which I'll try to leave a link. I think it's called a wire wire cutter? Actually, I think that might be the, might, might be it, but yeah, there we go. Might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. So we're going to unplug that because uh, we're now plugging up some wires that are going to be sending electricity through them. It just doesn't sound like a good idea to yeah, have the electricity presently there. plugging the uh, solar system to like a little backup battery thing out of the way. Um, this was not something you need to buy, but this I feel allowed me to do something like I do with my house already. I basically monitor the en energy consumption in another way. So I'm going to include that and then I will show you the app when I have it all uh, finally set up. Now 
that's the other end of the cord. It's going behind my wall. Behind this, I took this off to kind of help navigate it. Done is taking this off. I uh, flipped the circuit breaker, fed this from the bedroom into the basement. There we go. Electrical taped it and connected red to red, black to black. These two color cords are actually connected to a backup battery. Just for safety measures, it's kind of like the ground wire. But that's in a, in a way my uh, electrical socket, which it also has a app, which I'll show you. And it just uses Bluetooth with that USB port. And right now I'm charging Apple Watch and a charger case. Um, I've done a couple test runs and um, sorry, it took so long to upload this, but uh, this process, I don't think when I first started recording this, I had the power inverter. I didn't realize so the, the big obstacle that ended up getting my way was um, apparently there's two forms of electricity, AC and DC. Um, okay, cool. So the inverter kind of says it. So apparently the solar panel, and, and it might be because I technically got like an RV solar panel kit, but regardless, um, the solar panel turned into um, DC, which is good for cars, and um, but for houses and stuff, you need AC. So the inverter just uh, changed to AC, and um, yeah, I probably need to do one more solar panel, one more battery. Um, mainly the solar panel because uh, it, it takes a day or two to build up a charge. I mean, it, it is during, uh, we're, we're getting around Christmas time, so the sun is, uh, is definitely a precious resource. Uh, charging my Apple Watch and phone, um, it's the only thing that doesn't really completely run it dead. But um, the inverter kind of has its own battery. And then there's that battery up there. And then I, I tried using my backup batteries. I tried using all of it for all of it for my PC, and it survives uh, long enough to get the general boot done. Um, after the general boot is done, it's maybe a minute or two, and then everything just starts beep beep beep. beep you know, like everything's just going dead. So um, I will catch you back up when I can, you know, upgrade that further. But. That is my little sort of tutorial on just starting your very first solar kit and, you know, get into solar. Thank you for watching. Till next time, see you on the flip side.